This is Cameron Chai from Azon, bringing you another episode of Azon.com TV. Today we're speaking to Neil Hughes from Google, and he's going to be talking to us today about their Q2 Ion Optical Emission Spectrometer. Thank you. Um, yeah, so this is our, our, our new uh, optical emission spectrometer. Brooker um, have a, quite a comprehensive range of ArcSpark optical emission spectrometers for use in the uh, predominantly in the foundry industry. And this is our entry level instrument. This is a, a new instrument from Brooker. It's a, the Q2 Iron uh, Benchtop CCD based uh, ArcSpark spectrometer. Um, it is marketed to um, small foundries, uh, metal recyclers who want to classify their scrap metal to, um, to easily know what type of grade material they have. Um, it's very easy operation, it's controlled with some software normally running on an external PC, but uh, sample preparation for most arc sparks is, is very simple. You have your metal sample, if you're taken from a foundry or from your scrap, um, it's prepared on a linisher or on a milling machine to give you a flat sample. And then it's just placed onto the spectrometer, um, and it uses uh, argon as an, a gas that's used in the operation of the instrument. Uh, a high voltage arc or spark is applied to the surface of the instrument, um, vaporizing some of the metal, and uh, gives off light, which is then measured in the in the spectrometer, and it can give you elemental analysis simultaneously over quite a wide, wide range of of elements. Uh, this is a CCD based instrument. Um, that which enables this to be very compact um, and simultaneously analyze several different elements. So you can very quickly, within about uh, 50 seconds, get a very quick classification of uh, all the elements that are in the material, uh, from percent levels down to PPM levels. Um, so you can get all your trace elements as well as all your major elements. Um, you can do multiple sample runs on the same instrument. So you can do lots of sparks to build up your statistics and get good average and uh, repeatability on your results. Um, very easy operation for people who aren't trained in uh, spectrometry. Uh, it's a multi-matrix instrument, so um, the instrument is generally calibrated in the factory for ferrous materials. So if you're going to do iron, your cast iron, your mild steels, stainless steels, or also non-ferrous, so aluminium, copper, bronze, um, any sort of metal analysis, um, this instrument uh, is a, a, a good little entry-level instrument for people who want to get into metal analysis. So it's a cost-effective solution for small foundries? Small foundries, uh, metal recyclers, people who want to do grade control of incoming materials. Um, uh, so if you're a steel merchant and you're importing steel from overseas, you want to quickly check the grade and spark it on this. It tells you straight away whether or not what you've been supplied is what you've ordered. You can output data into some sort of statistical analysis Yep, it, um, it's all controlled through the software. Generally, when you set up the software, you put in your grades. It's just a simple, if it's in spec, it's, it's fine. If it's out of spec, it's red. If it's un, uh, to show, so you get a quick visual indication of something, whether or not it's in spec or not. Um, parts of this, you know, there are features of the software if you're in a foundry and you want to um, do any sort of corrections, like a charge correction to bring your material into specification before you do any of your casting. The software can um, suggest what additions, like you might have to add some extra material to the, to, to the molten metal to bring it into your specification. So you can do all that through the software. So it can be very simple for the general operator, no training, just wants to get a result, to the metallurgist who wants to control the actual type of alloy he's making. Um, this is a, a good entry level instrument for that sort of capability. Right, Neil, and if anybody wants uh, more information on this instrument, on the Q2 i they can go to the Brooker website, presumably? Yes, yeah, just brooker.com. Uh, do a Google search for Brooker. Um, yeah, very easy to find. Um, so, yeah. All right, Neil, thanks very much for telling us about the Q2 Iron Optical Emission Spectrometer. Yeah, no worries.